Hi, I'm Tamara Holder and welcome to Sports Court. We all saw the infamous video of Ray Rice knocking out his then fiance, now wife. We've heard every opinion from every pundit on the planet. But what about Ray Rice fans? What do they think? Joining me in studio is a dear friend of Fox News, co-host of Sirius XM Radio's Steel and Unger and senior political contributor at Forbes.com, Rick Unger. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So a lot of Ray Rice fans are still sporting his jersey yeah. at the games and around town. There was a recent Time Magazine article that said, while profoundly depressing, the attitudes of these fans shouldn't actually be all that surprising. Let's consider the kind of godlike status our society gives to professional athletes, though which they receive fawning coverage, sky-high salaries, and fan adoration so long as they're playing well. Yeah. What do you think of this? Well, I think the key to that sentence is so long as they're playing well. If you happen to catch the Minnesota game the other day, you did see that there is no offense without Ray Rice. So those who would support football teams more than they would support a woman who got punched in the face in an elevator, yeah, they're going to show up wearing the, the, the jersey. Is it ridiculous? Of course it is. Well, so what do you think of the fact that the NFL quickly turned its back on, on Ray Rice and the fans were offered the opportunity to turn in their jersey and get another jersey. They want to keep their jersey. Yeah, probably the same people who wore the jersey to the game. I'm sure there were some who did turn in their jerseys to make that statement. At the end of the day, how important is that really? What's important is what does the NFL stand for? What are they saying most importantly to all those but kids don't the who fans watch them? Have, forget, forget the NFL. Kings. Forget what the NFL stands for. Well, in this, in this debate, what about what the fans are saying to the NFL? The fans spend an estimated $1 billion a right. year on merchandise. Obviously, the NFL doesn't want to lose this money. Well, yeah, I would never minimize the importance of merchandising with the NFL. You're absolutely right. So the fan matters. But you, Of course the fan matters, but that doesn't mean that subtracting Ray Rice jerseys from the equation is going to have a severe impact on their, on their royalty earnings, because it won't. Well, what do you think also about the fact that with these parents, essentially, parents, grandparents, wearing Ray Rice jerseys, yeah. showing their support, they take their kids to the game. Are they sending a wrong message to their kids? Well, I think they are, yes. I what do. message are they sending? They're saying that football first, baby. You know, so what if this guy did something absolutely outrageous? What really matters here is the team. Okay, well, we have some sound on what some of the fans think, and we're going to play that for okay. you. I still think he's a good person who made one big mistake. It's going to be speculations always, but you can't go, you can't tell what happened in their relationship. I still like Ray Rice as a player and a person. What he does off the field, you know, shouldn't matter whether I wear the shirt or not. As other players got situations going on and they still playing games, you know what I mean? So you can't just destroy the man. He's got a family, he's got a child, he's got, he got to make a living. So... You think this is ridiculous? We have players in jail for being charged with murder. Should their behavior off the field not matter? What a ridiculous thing those people said. Of course it matters. Now, look, I'm not going to sit here and pitch for throwing anybody out of the league, but at what point do they begin to believe, oh, he shot somebody, oh, he killed somebody? Yeah, that matters. But if he punches out a woman on an elevator, none of my business. So your final, your final message is that these fans are ridiculous, that they should turn in their jerseys and they should throw away their, I, their I fan fan. Club membership. They don't need to turn in their jerseys to satisfy me. They don't have to throw in their fan club membership. They have to show a little bit of good sense as human beings. Well, thank you for your good sense and being here. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for being here and joining Rick Unger and me. You can follow Rick on Twitter at Rick Unger, U-N-G-A-R. And Sports Court is adjourned.